is going to touch you today. Tell your neighbor. Tell your neighbor again. No, tell your neighbor again. Let's open the Bible there. We read. Can we read Proverbs 19:21? We just go to that scripture. Arabaling DMA 1921. 21. Verse 21. Many are plans. Many plans are in a man's mind. But it is the Lord's purpose for him that will will stand. Amen. Can you see that verse? Let me read it again. It says, many plans are in a man's mind. But it is the Lord's purpose for him that will stand. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I was always thinking about this scripture. And I found that if it is the Lord's purpose, it will always stand. If you want to see why many prayers you pray are not answered, it's because the mind of a man carry many plans. Automatically, you think your thoughts. I mean, all those plans you want to carry out in life. But let's write God's purpose. Let's talk about His purpose in our lives. Because as you can read here, you so see like that you have been having year resolutions. But why are you not seeing what you wrote? Because they are in your mind. This is the time that we need the mind of God in our lives. I'm reading it again. It it says, many plans are in man's mind. But it is the Lord's purpose for him that will stand. If God is not purposely in our lives, whatever we establish in our lives will be a waste. I, I saw that by our Lord Jesus Christ. When we read Luke 9, I just want us to go there from 51 to 56. Let's go to Luke 9. You will Luke see nine. What happened to our Lord Jesus Christ? Luke 9. Luke chapter 9. Verse 1. Verse 1. Verse 1. Are you there? Let me read it for you if you are. It says, now when the time was approaching for him to be taken up to heaven, he was determined to go to Jerusalem to fulfill his purpose. He sent messengers on ahead of him. They went into a Samaria village to make arrangements for him. But the Lord, the, no, but the people will not welcome him. Can you see the verse there? Amen. But the people will not welcome him. Because he was traveling toward Jerusalem. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven and destroy them? Mm. But he turned and rebuked them. And he said, you do not know what kind of spirit you are. For the Son of Man 
do not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they journey on to another village. Amen. Can you see? Here you can see our Lord Jesus Christ who was with God all the time. He was there to fulfill God's purpose. But the Bible says when now the time has come for him to be crucified in Jerusalem. He wanted to go on the side of Samaria. There was a village on the other side. But people deny him there. If you can read there, you will realize that the way he was denied, it was not pleasing. How do you know it was not pleasing? Look at the response from the disciples. They say, it's better we curse these people. But Jesus said, you don't know the spirit you're in. You know, the spirit we have makes us to align with the purpose of God. You could see the disciples contrary to the will of God because the spirit of God is there for their obedience. But it shows that here they could not hear what the spirit was leading Jesus for. Here there was a great opportunity for these disciples to speak what will happen to Samaria village. Which we normally do when things are tough. Or when things are working contrary to us. But Jesus said, what I'm going through now is part of God's purpose. You know, if you learn God's purpose in your life, there are certain things that you will never pray for. Here Jesus was just saying, thank you Lord. I'm happy Samaritans are insulting us. It's a sign to the purpose of God. Sometimes when things are working contrary to your will, you need to ask God's purpose. Can you tell sometimes when things are working contrary to your will, you need to ask God's purpose. Look here, they had a plans. But at the time of Jesus with Samaritans, we finish. Remember, Jesus used to go to Samaria and sit close to the well. In Samaria, Jesus was celebrated. So for him to be celebrated was finished. He was supposed to go for God's purpose. Do you know that if Jesus didn't go to the crucifixion. He was, he was supposed to have faced God's purpose. Despite, Despite all the miracles. All the signs he showed. There, there are some things that God wants to go through. Which works towards the destiny of the purpose of God upon your life. And such things are not pleasing. Tassa was my friend. The things you are supposed to go through. Such things are not pleasing. But they are speaking God's purpose about your life. You know, many times we say, thank you, Lord, when everything is fine. But sometimes God is speaking better to the purpose of God upon our lives. This verse is like the one we read about Paul. 
when Paul was decided to preach the word of God anywhere Paulo a decide sa mayara ra morero ma lentse la modimo go tle there were times when he went to go to some villages na ona lena go tshe dingwanya go ya mitsaneng e mengwe and the holy spirit said don't go there mo yo hanla wa mahane e tsho rasikaya and there was opportunity there and a be minyetla ne le gona i mean the crowd was there crowd ba thone ba leteng Uh, money was there provision was there how we fall you on any thing the support was existing come and jump on support you on a little one so when they want to go there go say no aba nyoko ya ke wo motimara awa i've read the ministry of paul was a very bad ministry ke ba dile ka ministry kwa mo wa paul ne ministry of experiences ka ro ko pana le tshedi mpika moka extend that soul end up supporting himself by tent making o fetella yana te support ga e ka o dira di tent it means they was no support at all or our support on is sitting lagati they have to do something to get something to reach out they have to do something to get something to reach out automatically automatically he had a desire to reach people who had money or our nana le tumo ya o fitella batho ba nang le chelete but holy spirit will say don't go that mala moyo hala ngo ro sky ya ke we the purpose of god upon your life a se morero wa modimo di mo bophelo ba hao tsa se ba se ba friend ba tsona ka forum khotse those things look better din tshe di bona la as the purpose of god upon your life marabotsha morero wa modimo ka bophelo jo hao if it is the purpose of god upon your life ai le morero wa modimo di mo bophelo jo hao the purpose of god will always stay ka o bane morero wa modimo o tla dula wo yeme whether you fast 40 days wa ikona matata i 40 70 days as 70 the purpose of god morero wa modimo yeme what you are supposed to go through ye ntso ntse ro kopana le yona tsa o tana o kopana le yona so what you need to do is to know what you are supposed to go through so that when you go through it you enjoy it why psin to ipina he ka mo say amen ali dumela ke le ramen say i'm enjoying the way i am ka mo hokeleng ka gona can we read first corinthians ara ba leng ba corintha ba pele 216 chapter 2 verse 16 the bible says we have the mind of christ bible re na le mogopolo wa christ instruct us or lay lang ba or fang di tai the purpose of god morero wa mo ke when we are living a christian life are pila bo pilo ba pulso we are instructed by the mind of god re lay lwa ka mogopolo wa motimo mo go rena we can't control the mind of god who can do that are lao le mogopolo wa motimo re ka e dia jang e who can change the mind of god ke mang a ka fetosang mogopolo wa motimo the mind of god change us mogopolo wa motimo fetosa rena the mind of god put us to where we god want us to mogopolo wa motimo re be ya mo motimo nya kang re ba teng if you try to do things on your own you are about to fail a o ile ka o itira dilo ka o bana o gao se lo upalelo i mean there are things that you can do people please praise you whatever ona le tshe o ka di diang batho ba o tota ba o reta ba dia dilo ka mfela but the counsel of god will always stand mara melao ya modimo yona e dula yeme if it's not god involved ah modimo a sa tsene la tabeng ke you can end up fighting god o ka felletsa go lwana le modimo so we have got mind of god that instruct us so rena le mogopolo modimo o re laelang sometimes when you search for a job and you don't get that job don't worry ha o nya ka mmereko wa so tholo ska be laela because there's something in you that must direct you somewhere ka ba nona le ntomo go ene tsho tere o sukitse le kai kai a ona motho a bolela le ngwana ka hone Have you ever find you are trying to make money but you can't make it? Ongela wa te thola o le ka o di ya tshelete mara o isa tholagale. And you find that what is happening with you don't even ask that question. Wa si bo tshele pwa e pusho re o di ya la ona o se ka ba e pusha pusho e joal. Ask God's purpose. Wo tshisha morero wa modimo go wena. What is the reason of making that money? Le ba ka la ronya ka tshelete o nyoko di ya tshelete ke inge. If God is aware about that reason. If modimo a tseba ba ka. You that money come to you. O tla bona re tshelete ya fitha we. But if not you will carry on searching for money that you never find. Ba ka lo ta nya kana le tshelete me thaye wa sto wi tshere wi thotse. You struggle to get something that you never find. O tla ita pisha ka o nya ka ntoka sto wi thotse. Some things that you need are somewhere where you don't want. Ntoche dingwe tsho di nyakang di ana ke wo ho ngwe mo wena o sa o nyake. Some things. Ntoche dingwe that you want. Tsho di nyakang. Uh, somewhere you don't want. Di kai kai mo wena o sa o nyake. Because you don't go by your wishes. Ka bana o tsama e ka re wena o rata inge. You go by God's purpose. O ya ka re morero wa modimo ona o reng. You know that is why I tell people. Ke ka le ba ka le o ke re ha ke botsa batho. That one of the problem when we come to the prophets of God. Bo thata bo bo go la re ta ba profiteng ba morena. 
We try to channel them how they can reach us the way we think. Not the purpose of God. I've been telling people that when you approach a man of God, don't use your, your, your experience like Naaman. Naaman say, I know Elisha will Naman just come and do something on Elisa me. But Elisha said, I don't want to see that. Elisa, hey, Tell him to go and wash in a river. He said, no, why the prophet could not come <laughs> and wave? If he waved the hand like this, something will happen. He said, no, that prophet is dating, that man, that, that Naaman is dating in a dirty river. If he can wash in river Jordan, it will be clean. One of our challenges challenge is, is even when we approach God, we have got both which does not exist. That is why we quote scriptures that are not working. That is why we God wants His people who seek His purpose. Why you were born? Why you were born? Why are you supposed to be here? Why is the reason? Why are you a Christian? Why are you a Christian? Preaching the word Why of God. Why you are born in that family? The purpose of your life in that family. You might be there to show God at work. Therefore, you must be different from them. I believe you are going to be different from them. If you believe, shout hallelujah. So we have got the mind of Christ that instructs us. Do you think the mind of Christ can make us to lie? Do you think the mind of Christ can make us to cheat? If we want to play the role that Christ wants us to play, we must ask him the mind of him. Remember what the Bible says, his thoughts are supposed to be our thoughts. Even his ways must be his ways. In the time of Israel, people divide out. They use their ways. They had their thoughts. And whatever they wanted to achieve, they thought his God's purpose. It's as good as we are here. You are told that the result is a white car. But you work your way out towards that white car. But when God looks at your way out, you that it's not the right way. Because God's purpose makes you to be on the right way and the right way that God wants you to be until you reach that result. So you are experiencing what you're experiencing is God's purpose. If you accept it and you believe that God can still do something out from where you are, you will follow, follow his formulas and you will reach your destiny if you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Romans 6 from 6. 18 to 19. Let's read that verse. 18 to 19. I just want us to give you some verses you go and read so that you must not pray for what you will never get. I mean, if you want to be in God's purpose, what you, what you do is you check your Christian life. First. Okay, now you're a Christian. Oh, God, God wants you to do this. Oh, right. You do that. Okay, so when you pray, you know, you know that the will of God will be established. Let's read Romans 6. From verse 18 to 19. Romans 6, 18 to 19. Let me read for you. He says, Yariona. And having set free from sin, you have become the slaves of righteousness. In other words, you are conformed to God's will and His purpose. It's Paul was speaking. He says, I'm speaking in familiar human terms because of your natural limitations. For as just as you presented your bodily members as slaves to impurity and to moral lawless, 
leading to further lawlessness. So now offer your members, in other words, your, your ability, your talents, as slaves to righteousness, leading to sanctification that is being set apart for God's purpose. Amen. If you know the life you've been living, now you understand you want to be in God's purpose. You offer your body where there is no lawlessness for the sake of God's purpose. Your talent, your ability, whatever. If you read verse 19 especially, just, just, just look at that verse 19. That verse 19. Oh, the second stanza of that verse, it says, so now offer your members as slaves to righteousness, leading, leading to sanctification, leading to sanctification. You can see you offer leading to there is someone who will say, now you are sanctified. You lead to. In fact, you don't just become. You lead to. One of our mistakes is we, we just become. Tomorrow we are sinning, we confess. Let's have a journey. Let's have a journey. Leading to. Where God say, I'm approving you. You approve of this side of what God is choosing you for. You are sanctified for God's purpose. So that you come and live this kind of life. I don't know if you are hearing me. Listen, issues of confessing your sin is not over. When you are working with God, there will be a time where you are proved. Sanctification is a process. That's why some people are still remember where you come from. Some people are still remember what you used to do. Because you are busy every day working out your salvation. I'm sure you understand what I'm trying to say. If you believe, say amen. Look here. If God wants you to be in his purpose, you don't just wake up, you are there. Sometimes you have to lose some things you. Lose, lose what you used to do. The things you were doing. Until you are called a righteousness of God. Where you are sanctified for God's purpose. You are able to do what other people cannot do. Look at it. Even your breathing will be what God wants you to do. If you reach there, your, your, your movement will be what God wants you to do. Anything you do, your action, you are looking will be what God wants you to do. When you are on God's purpose, whatever you do, it pleases God. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let me speak with someone who is listening to me. From today you will please God. I said from today you will please God. Listen. This is the mistake we are having. That's why we end up making mistakes. End up sinning when we say we are Christian. And justifying our sins. First John chapter 1 verse 8 that our oh, God is faithful and just. Oh, we can confess. Oh, oh, okay, and as the Bible says, all have sinned, they rush short of the, the glory. Rush short of the glory. So we are not going to rush short of the glory. It's running short of the manifestation. Of the manifestation. Of becoming what God wants It's running short of the manifestation. Of becoming what God wants you to be. To be in God's purpose. Whereby when you pass, the devil is bow down. When you think, devil bow down. Whatever you do, devil bow down. And God will be praised. So our mistake is, we jump to conclusion, we are Christians. As long as we are doing something in the church, we are Christians. No, there's sanctification that can make God to come and dwell to do what he wants to do. There are some people here today that God is going 
to visit you and do what you want to do with your life. I don't mind what you are facing, but what I know, God is having a plan with your life. The purpose of God will be established. If, if you believe, shout hallelujah. A Christian can still face all. But if he sanctifies to God's purpose, you know what happened? When he's moving, 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 moving God said now, I've been waiting for him to reach you. From now on, when he lifts hand, I'm the one who's lifting. When he put down hand, I'm the one who's putting in. So that whatever you say, it has been said in heaven. I don't know if you're hearing me. It's God's purpose. It's God's purpose. It's coming to your life. Can you tell me God's purpose is coming to your life? Can I tell you this? God does not mind how far, how many things you have done. Come to him, be sanctified. Because you are born for something. I say you are born for something. Allow me to tell you that this year, people will see why you are born for what you are born for. They will experience it in the name of Jesus. If you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You know, people they don't even know that Jesus experience which I want to tell you about. I want to tell you another experience of Jesus which you don't know. Jesus was just an ordinary man around. And then for his father to die early was for Jesus' purpose. Because already he has finished his purpose. The issue, the issue is how many years you live. Now. I mean, did you do your purpose? If you finish your purpose, you did it. You will enter heaven. If not, you, you were doing other things. So what happened? Joseph, Joseph. did all the purpose. For Joseph to agree that Jesus was his son, it was not easy. So it, it needed God's intervention in his life. So there was a purpose that was brought to Joseph. He agreed, you know. But look here. Now for, for Jesus to manifest as a, as a Messiah, it was not good when Joseph was there. I don't know if you're hearing this. It. it was not good because these people were still speaking even when Joseph was not there. We know he's a son of Joseph. We know he's a son of Joseph. But now God decided to take Joseph. But now God decided to take Joseph. So you finish your job. Now, okay, Jesus, you can start. If you see Jesus speaking with Mary, 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 Mary said to Jesus, "You are the one now." Now you see Jesus speaking with Mary. Mary said to Jesus, "You are the one now." You don't have wine. Can you start? Now we in a good time. But Jesus was just ordinary. What makes Jesus to go and do that fasting of 40 days, 40 days? What is the order that was coming? People wanted chairs, wanted, wanted furniture. So as the eldest, he could not do the business like his father. Because his father was a company. He began to say, ah, this I can't do it. Let me go and seek God's people. And when he went there, look, after baptism, when he spring leading, when he began to seek God, the Spirit of God came after baptism and led him to the mountain. Today, can I say this to you? Know that the condition you are facing is working for God's purpose. Don't judge yourself wrong. You are facing trouble. It's fine. I found that many times God is using people who are born from poverty 
so you must not judge anybody by his cover. The moment when you face a challenge, seek for God's purpose. He will guide you. There is something that wants to happen today to someone who is listening to me. I see a door open for you. And no one will be able to stop you. Look here. When people are able to stop you, it means God is speaking something. If now you have been stopped, don't worry, don't fight Ask yourself. I want to know God's purpose. God's purpose. Upon my life. I, I believe this message belongs to someone. I believe it's belonging to someone. If, if, if you are the one, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me show you what happened by the time of Joshua. What the purpose of God does. Just open Joshua. Just open Joshua. Joshua. Okay. Maybe you can just open Joshua 3. 3, verse 5. Joshua chapter 3, verse 5. When I was very young, I was following the late Korumbi. The day he died, I was crying alone. I was alone outside. I was just a God. How can you lead me to Korumbi and he died? I, I worked with Kurumbi three years. I was calling me teaching. This happened to Joshua. But when God wanted to do a miracle, here Joshua was told, Can you see now? Joshua it's you now. Tell, tell the people. Don't take them to Moses. Don't do what Moses was doing. Now you are on your journey now. The history is history. Now you've got your role to play. Don't think what happened. It's a new thing that God wants to do with you. And God said, Joshua, tell the people to sanctify themselves. You know, Joshua stood up and said, hey, Joshua, I'm like, mm. sanctify yourself from now until tomorrow because tomorrow there is something that God wants to do and it's a miracle. In other words, God will visit us. There is no visitation without sanctification. I don't know if you're hearing that. And sanctification uh, provokes your standing with God. Automatically when you are standing with God, where God wants you to stand, you bring that role that God wants to bring, which becomes the will of God. And therefore is a purpose of God for you. The will of God is a purpose of God for you. Let me say, the will of God is a purpose of God for you. So now they did that. Look what happened. What they did, but the tomorrow morning, the river Jordan was full, opening itself. That miracle melt all the enemies on the other side. There are some enemies need to hear what is happening with you. I don't know if you are hearing me. But you need to 
Stand your ground. So that God will do his purpose in your life. There are some enemies you will never fight again. These people were not fighting. The river Jordan just opened. Later the enemies were afraid. Those people are around now. Which one? The one that the river Jordan opened itself. They melted with fear. This year God will do something. In your life, it will make your enemy to fear. They will never fight you. I said they will never fight you. In the name of Jesus. If God is not doing something, your enemy will never be afraid of you. Your enemy will never be there have to be sanctification that brings the purpose of God. And from there, the enemy will say, hey, what happened? No, we can't fight this people. I don't know if you're hearing me. Something is coming to your life that will bring victory if you believe, shout hallelujah. Shake somebody say, something is coming to your life that will bring victory. Your enemy will never fight you again. I say, your enemy will never fight you again. Do you know that it's easy? It's it's easy. easy. I know this thing will happen to you. The moment you reach a place, I, I found this thing. The moment when you reach there, they say, Oh, who are you? And you say, I'm Makananisa. Because there are things that has happened. I don't know if you're here. They will melt. You enter interview. They just ask, who are you? I'm Joyce. Oh. Let's, give a job. Let's give her a job. There are things you're not supposed to fight for. Because there's something that God has done for you. If truly is a purpose of God for your life. You're not supposed to struggle and do fasting and pray and pray. It's for you. I say it's for you. I say it's for you. You reach there, they give you. I remember the last job that I worked in Pretoria. That job, if I remember, I won't tell you the name of the job, but it was. But that job, the moment when I we were so many in interviews I didn't know that it was the purpose of God there were so many people and when, they, when you go for interview they call you we're outside Jack what what I, I remember I Sometimes when they mention the name, I feel like they are mentioned my name. I was <laughs> Until 5 o'clock, I was the last person. I was, I was asking myself, am Na I going to be interviewed interview So when I was sitting there, so they called me. They there. When I reached there, they said, how much do you want? How much do you want? How much? They never asked me a name. But they just said, how much? And I, I said, I oh, know anything. In fact, I was, I was angry. I didn't know that it was God's people, like, but I was angry. They said, how much? I said, anything. I, I just look at what I was looking there. Uh, anything. They, they say, uh, Sorry, sir. Uh, you are the one that we are taking. But when I came to the we have interviewed all, but we knew we are taking. The purpose of God, whether you are of the last, or you are somewhere, it will be fulfilled in your life. It's coming to come to pass in your life. How many of you are waiting for that? Receive that purpose of God. Listen. The moment when 
God gives you the purpose. Oh, you are the one to fulfill the purpose. Stop grumbling. Everything works for the best. Everything works for the best. Everything works Even funeral works for the best. Even what? Funeral works for the best. The steps of a good man are ordered by God. I see you going to your destiny. If you believe, shout hallelujah. I see you going to where God wants you to be. Shake somebody and say, hey, I'm not lost, I'm on my way. I'm not lost, I'm on my way. I'm not, lost, I'm on my way. I'm not here to be defeated. This is the plan of God upon my life. I'm not shaken. I know what God wants to do with me. I know the purpose of God for my life. I look like defeated, but I'm going somewhere. I look like I'm rejected, but I'm about to be celebrated. I look like it's over, but my God is beginning a new work. If you believe, shout out hallelujah. Don't look at that situation. Don't look at that situation. There's a purpose of God. Purpose In your life. As your neighbor, do you know the purpose of God prevail? Just look at this scripture, maybe we close. Proverbs 16. Maybe we read from verse 1 to 4. Because always, many a times, we don't do introspection. We look on others. Because many times, the, the, the way of a man is clean on his eyes. Proverbs 16. Maybe we we'll close from there. Ask somebody to say, my friend. What is the purpose of God upon your life? Just read verse 1. Verse one. Can we just read that verse two in our Bible aloud? You can see that verse in Amplify, it says, all the ways of a man are clean and innocent in his own eyes. In other words, he may see nothing wrong with his actions, but the Lord weighs and examines examine the intent of the heart. Three, is a commit your works to the Lord and trust them to him. And your plans will succeed. Okay, verse 4. The Lord has made everything for his own purpose. Even the wicked are according to their role on the day of evil. Even the wicked. You know, here you can read that some actions you are doing. The Lord might have allowed it. I was asking myself why uh, God allowed Pharaoh to carry on doing what he was Sometimes doing. Sometimes when you are doing wrong, carrying on doing wrong, uh, try to pretend as if no one sees. You think God is not aware. God is He has allowed your role of wickedness to carry But God wins our heart. You check our Before God check, can we check ourselves? Before God changed, he want to be in his role, in his purpose. Let's check ourselves before we checked. Because if God allows you to carry on with the wrong things, you come to church, you see, no one say anything. 
You do whatever. You can still do everything. You know, I was learning that Christianity. You know, it's not like religion. In religion, people can stone you. But in Christianity, you are allowed to do whatever you can do. You can do whatever. You can do whatever. You can do whatever. You can do whatever. It's only in religion that people question. But Christianity, everything will be given to God. God is God weighing our hearts. God is looking unto your heart. And he wants you to play your role. For you to be sanctified. Just start from today. And check yourself. Until God say, now I approve you. This is the purpose for you. You are born for this. Live this way. You are not too late. Tell me, you are not too late. Today, what God has created you for will be visible in the name of Jesus. And you know, listen. Most of the time, we feel like we have been delayed and rejected. You are not too late. You can be surprised God has allowed us to advertise you. Sometimes God can allow bad Sometimes things God can allow to happen to you, to you so that you know people around you. He can just delay you for a reason. He can delay you for a reason. For the sake that the wrong people will be disappearing <inaudible> and you emerge. Sometimes God can just try <inaudible> to hide you. <inaudible> because now you want to be like other people. <inaudible> other people. God <inaudible> hides you. <inaudible> Whatever that is happening to you. <inaudible> is for his plan to be, plan to be executed for the purpose of God to be visible in your life. There, there are some people who are waiting asking, asking them, why, why I can't get a job? No, no income. income. Why this? Why that? It's for the purpose of God to be visible. I mean, that delay is very good. There is a manifestation of reality that is coming to you. And if if you believe, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. How many of you are waiting for manifestation of reality? It's about to be visible in your life. If you believe, shout hallelujah.